We've got a great show lined up for you here on Retiring Well. We're going to be talking about the Retirement Checklist Challenge, as well as the three categories of retired investors. What category do you fall into? Estate planning and tax planning. Do you have all those different boxes checked for your retirement plan? And do you have a retirement POS? This is something you want to be considering. So all of this and more, Retiring Well, starting right now. Retiring Well, brought to you by Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors specializing in retirement planning and serving all of Northern Michigan. Retiring Well, helping you plan for a successful and comfortable retirement. Retiring Well, plan to retire well. We're excited about the show and all the information, and normally we give you a show packed full of information and education. I'm gonna pause from that for just a minute and we have an offer for you today and there's no cost and it's something you can do on your own here. And it's the Retirement Checklist Challenge. And it's basically a three page downloadable uh, PDF that you can get right on our website. And it's a nice little checklist as you're leading up to or very early in retirement that we thought would be helpful for you to kind of get the, the juices moving in the brain and, and thinking about some of this stuff. You know, a lot of us as we enter retirement and we hear from you out there, some of these questions you have and the concerns heading into retirement, you know, have I saved enough money? When should I retire? When should I take Social Security? How do taxes play a role? What if tax rates change? You know, all these questions that go through your mind, plus just the, some of the personal questions that you may have that are different for every individual. This checklist here does a nice job of walking through different steps and making sure you have certain things checked off. You know, when I look through this checklist here, and I have a printed copy, and you, you can print it too if you want to, but it, you can do it right online. You know, one of the first things it talks about is a budget. Have you walked through a budget, you know, in retirement of what your expenses are gonna be? You know, oftentimes when we're working, you know, cash flow is coming in and some people don't really have a budget per se and they just, they know what they spend and they know what they make and they got more coming in than going out so it works. In retirement, it's really helpful to have that budget so we can plan for what income is needed. What sources of income do I have coming in and when? You know, Social Security, pension, savings, when is all that gonna come in? How is it taxed? Do I know that? You know, working through this. Do I have different tax qualified accounts and what year should I be drawing from them? What debts do I have and when do they fall off the books? You know, kind of once again, fitting into that budget perspective. Medical, healthcare, where am I getting insurance? All that sort of stuff, what does that look like and who do I need to be talking to about that? Have, do I have my estate in order? Do I have a will, trust, powers of attorney? Do I need those things? And how do they all fit into place? Do my investments match my risk tolerance as I enter into this new chapter of my life? And do I have a tax strategy? So folks, this gets a lot more detailed than that and there's kind of check marks. I think there's 34 different areas this looks at. It doesn't take that long to do. I strongly encourage you to go to our website, plug in the information, download this, and work through this. Once you get through this and if you identify areas, wow, there's a lot of things I haven't looked at, that's where we come into play. We'd love to sit down with you and walk through this in detail, help you fill in those holes and build that retirement plan so you can plan to retire well. Once again, go to our website, send-wealth.com. You can download this, it's right on our home screen. And I think oh, you'll find it very helpful and it will kind of get you thinking through this process. So hopefully that works for you and you enjoy taking the time to do this so you can plan to retire well. What another great topic there. I mean, lists, we use them all the time in our daily lives from the most mundane things like grocery shopping, right? I mean, in our household, I got four little ones at home. Uh, when we run out of something, we add it to the grocery list. It's never fun when you're out of ketchup and it's burger and fry night and you got four kids that want to dip their fries in some ketchup, right? So we make that list. Why not have a list for retirement planning? I mean, have that checklist so you can go through it and figure out what you're missing and, and what you have already taken care of. I mean, I know when I'm my, doing my to-do list at home, when you knock things off that to-do list, it, it's a great feeling to have that accomplished in that day. Um, you know, right on our website, we have this awesome checklist checklist that Art was talking about there. If your advisor isn't talking about all those different things on that checklist, you're really missing out. 
Absolutely, Nick. You know, what questions should you ask? That might be the bigger uh, important thing in your life. You know, it's not not knowing the answers. Sometimes it's asking the right questions. And that's why that checklist is so helpful. So I, I encourage you, yeah, if, if you have some time, uh, go get it, download it, print it, and, and see, you know, where you're at. One thing in our both of our lives, Nick and I were both pilots. And every single flight, we would have checklists. We had pre-checklists for the pre-flight. We had checklists for the startup. We had checklists while we were in the air we had checklist to land the plane. I think the same thing is in your retirement is that you should go through and use those resources and those reminders in that checklist. Because if you do miss something on there, uh, you can have very, very bad, uh, undesirable outcomes. Just like that flying example I was giving you and just like what happens when a retirement plan crashes and burns. So if you're at all uneasy about where you're at or if you do the checklist and you find that you have some questions, please give us a call. Uh, it's free. It's no obligation. We can meet and we can go through and, and help try to teach you uh, about those areas of your checklist that might not be in good order. So stay tuned because coming up next, we're going to be talking about the three categories of retired investors. And we'll also be talking about estate planning and tax planning. In today's day and age, with a longer lifespan, you're more likely to encounter both good and bad market performance. For that reason, when planning for retirement, it's increasingly important to seek guidance from a financial advisor who can help you structure an income strategy that reflects your financial situation, risk tolerance, and investment objectives. You don't want just any advice, but objective financial advice. With so much at stake, it's important that you feel you can trust a financial advisor to consider a wide variety of possible solutions, including both investment and insurance products. Here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we're not beholden to any certain investment tools or vehicles. We're independent. We can offer a wide variety of investment tools to, that meet your needs. So please, if you have any questions or you want to schedule an initial consultation, don't hesitate to give us a call at the number on the screen. We're happy to help in any way that we can. Over time, we've learned that there's essentially three different categories of retired investors. So there's first the overfunded investor. So this is the, uh, the fortunate minority uh, where they have a surplus of cash relative to the amount of money that they're going to need uh, to produce the income that they require uh, in retirement. So again, that's the overfunded investors. Next, you would have the underfunded investors, which, uh, you know, they've saved very little over their working years and they're going to ultimately rely very heavily on their Social Security to provide a bulk of the income that they need in those in those retirement years. And lastly, uh, constrained investors. So this is the group that's right in the middle of the two and there's probably going to be millions of people that would fall uh, into this category and, and it's not necessarily uh, all about how much they have saved for retirement. It's more so going to be, you know, 
how much income do they need to generate from this portfolio in order to meet their desired, desired lifestyle uh, during their retirement year. So with this, there's typically a little margin for error. Uh, they, they can't necessarily make those big mistakes like perhaps the overfunded investors where you know, the overfunded investors may have more money than they know what to do with, and if they have some investment that doesn't perform as well as they'd like, uh, it doesn't change their lifestyle. But for those that would be considered constrained investors, you, you can't necessarily afford to make those big mistakes. So maybe you're not um, taking the huge risk with the portfolio uh, that you might be because you know that you need that money to generate an, a certain income stream for you. And, and you, you can't necessarily be jumping in and out of the market a whole lot easier or a whole lot either because you know, you're, you're trying to time the market. Uh, it's one of those challenging things. And so you have to ultimately prioritize sort of your, your risk mitigation, knowing what different factors come into play with your assets and, and how much risk you really can take on uh, when it comes to your retirement years. So, you also need to factor in the different types of, a, of account options. So whether those are looking at what the bank or credit union has to offer, uh, what different investment companies are offering, or maybe it's going through different insurance companies. So you want to be educated in looking at all of these different areas to make sure that you're, you're making the right choice for your retirement plan. So income is ultimately gonna be the primary focus, along with that is gonna come in tax planning. You need to make sure that you're paying attention to this as, as maybe drawing money out of the wrong account could put you in a tough tax position. So that's ultimately what we do here at Centennial Wealth Advisory. And so we'd encourage you to give us a call and let us help you plan to retire well. If you're recently retired or considering retirement soon, we have a helpful tool for you right on our website at send-wealth.com, the Retirement Checklist Challenge. You can download it right from our homepage and it walks you through 34 different questions as you prepare and think about all the different things for retirement. It helps you set the stage and see if you're ready for that big change in your life to get into retirement. At Centennial Wealth Advisory, we take a holistic approach to your retirement planning. So it's not just looking at what your investments are, but what is that long-term income plan for the next 30, 40 years of your retirement? What about taxes and what role they play in your retirement plan? Estate planning, what about life insurance, health insurance planning, all key areas to consider when looking at your retirement. So please visit our website or call the number on the screen. We'd love the opportunity to sit down with you for a no cost, no obligation visit. When you have confidence in your retirement future, you can live the life you've always imagined. Because of planning, you now have time to reflect on the wonderful memories of your life. You and your spouse finally have the luxury of leisure time together. to spend fun times with your grandkids, sharing the joy of their excitement about life. Smiling at the thought of quality time with your children and of picking up the check. last you have time to breathe and rekindle the love of your life why because you imagined what could be you planned for retirement so today you own your future
let's take a moment here and talk about estate planning and tax planning. So let's let's step back and just imagine right now that you're you're sitting in front of a, a puzzle. And like my son Noah, uh, he loves puzzles and does a phenomenal job. So you could give him a thousand piece puzzle and and he would work his way right through that. But you know maybe it's a puzzle that only has thirty pieces and and you you think that that's a more reasonable task. So with retirement planning, uh, there's going to be a lot of different pieces to this puzzle or planning uh, that should be done in, in to have a successful retirement. So estate planning is going to be vital because uh, your assets need to know uh, where they're going to go when you pass away. And, and a will won't necessarily cover all of that. You, you ideally want to be having uh, different beneficiary designations on, on all of your different accounts. So that might be uh, POD or TOD, payable on death, transferable on death, maybe a form uh, for your bank or credit union that you could ask for and complete that so that your account knows where to go if you were to pass away unexpectedly. What about uh, primary beneficiaries as well as contingent beneficiaries? So, you know, if you're a married couple, hopefully your spouse is listed as primary, but if you have children or if you have a trust or whatever it might be, maybe that's the, then you want to list as contingent beneficiaries just in case something happened to both you and, and your primary beneficiary. Uh, ladybird deeds are, are a way that you can uh, help with your real estate to know where it's supposed to go. So, you know, again, here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we're not estate planning attorneys, so we would strongly encourage you to speak with a, a qualified person to discuss that further. Moving on to tax planning. Proper planning can, can definitely save you a significant amount of money over time when it comes to tax planning. As an example, I've had a few couples lately where they've been interested in buying an RV and so they called up and said, hey, I need, need X amount of dollars from my retirement accounts to buy this RV. And so instead of approaching it with, let's take a huge lump sum all at once, that would have put them in a really bad tax position. And so instead, we walk through maybe some different options where in their case, uh, it, it may be using a home equity line of credit temporarily to use that and gradually draw money from the IRAs to help then uh, over a period of years pay down or pay off that home equity line of credit. So again, these are types of discussions that you'd want to be sitting down with a qualified professional to, to dive into greater detail. But perhaps it's traditional IRAs or 401ks and, and looking at that as converting to Roth or maybe it's using life insurance as a planning tool, tax-free planning tool uh, upon your passing. So uh, Centennial Wealth's primary purpose is, is ultimately to help you plan to retire well. So if estate planning or tax planning you have questions, you're welcome to give us a call. Yeah, this is not always a topic that we uh, enjoy talking about, but basically death and taxes. You know, what happens to your estate after you die and uh, what is the tax complications going to be? I recently ran across a case in the Cadillac office. A client came in, a 70, 71 years old married couple, and they were looking for some other advice. And so we took out all of their uh, different data points and kind of gathered all that. And, and one of the goals that they had was was to pass on a good size inheritance. And so based on how they were structured, uh, they didn't have a tax plan. And how they thought that might pass on was not gonna pass on like they understood it. And so we were able to teach them. Not only were we able to teach them what a, a better tax plan might be, we were also able to get their estate in good order. There were some things that uh, were not gonna pass. Um, as simple as a ladybird deed to have the house pass. That, 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 was an asset that wasn't covered yet. And so, you know, it's the fun part of our job where we get to figure out what you're trying to accomplish, what the best, best path forward might be for you, and then teach. So uh, appreciate you watching uh, each and every week. Yeah, great example there, Jack. Another topic that was talked about in that previous segment um, was John referencing those three different types of retired investors. Great job explaining that, but I also want to talk about another category as well, um, and that's the pre-retired investors. A lot of times in the Gaylord office, I have either couples that'll call up, they're very hesitant to even schedule a meeting, or when they do get into the, the office and sit down and chat, they really don't think they'll ever be able to retire. And that's something where I, I really want to hammer that home that 
it's never too early to start thinking about retirement. Don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll be happy to plug in all those numbers and show you, hey, if you're a couple years out from retirement, this is what it might look like when you get to that retirement age. It's a lot of fun for us to be able to put all those pieces of the puzzle together and help you paint that picture on what retirement might look like for you. All right, well, stay tuned. Coming up next, we're gonna be talking about, do you have a retirement POS? Well, better yet, do you even know what that is. Living life isn't always easy. It puts up challenges and obstacles you'll have to overcome. There are responsibilities. You put in effort to provide and take care of your family, and to save and invest, to balance work and life. Planning is the first step to succeeding plan to retire well. You can have a portfolio or you can have a plan. You can play it safely or you can safely plan. You can guess when to take Social Security or you can make your decision based on detailed analysis. You can hope your savings will last your entire retirement or you can take action and know. You can let life happen to you or you can take control. You can go it alone, or you can have an experienced guide ready to walk with you every step of the way. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial planners serving all of Northern Michigan, offices in Gaylord, Petoskey, Traverse City, and Cadillac. Simply call the number on your screen for a complimentary initial consultation and let us help you plan to retire well. All right, let's take a few minutes here and have a little fun. I have a question for you. Do you have a retirement POS? <laughs> Pile of stuff. Oftentimes we talk about having a plan and sometimes people come in for that free no cost, ob uh, no obligation visit with us and they say, I got a plan and they're excited to give it to us and either it's in a box or it's a stack of papers or it's in a pretty binder. They say, here it is. And I say, okay, great, what's in it? Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Um, well, somebody did it for me a few years ago and I don't really understand it, but I got one. Well, or they got this pile of paperwork and it's kind of all messed up and, and, and they're not real sure and it's usually just a two or three years worth of statements. So it's a pile of stuff, right? So having a plan is more than just having a pile of paperwork. Understanding what, what's in it, not being afraid to look at it too would be helpful, right? And, and having it customized to your individual circumstance with your situation, your accounts, and your exact budgetary retirement plan. That pile there is a step of that, and it's typically the start of building that. That pile is what you should be giving to us, the financial advisor, to start mapping out that detailed retirement plan. When I think of this pile, it kind of gives people a false sense of security that they have something. And if you're not sure what's in it, what good is it? It's like having an owner's manual to a car that you never look at or never know what it is, and you're just gonna get in and go. Well, sometimes that works if you never have a problem, right? But what if that car all of a sudden has a problem? Well, 
there's a manual there that may, may or may not talk about that problem, but if you don't even know what's in it, how are you gonna know? So once again, when you think of that retirement plan, it's more than just statements. It's more than just a fancy binder with some graphs and charts in it. It's a detailed plan knowing the intricate workings of where the income is coming from, what sources, how it's gonna be taxed, and what risk that investments are gonna be in there. You as the retiree, as the investor, you're the driver of this plan because it's gotta be customized to you. At the end of the day, you have goals that you're trying to achieve. Likely that's probably retirement, but even more specifically, what in retirement are you trying to accomplish? That plan should help guide you through that so you know with confidence you can meet those goals and objectives that you have. Having that pile, should give you confidence. And if it doesn't, it's time to revisit that and consider getting a real retirement plan. If this is something that's concerning to you or you're saying, yep, I do have that pile. I am afraid to look at it. Give us a call. We'd love to sit down and walk through that with you and help you sort that pile out into a real retirement plan. Hey, I think uh, Art did a great job there explaining what a retirement POS is. You know, we uh, meet weekly as advisors. We're constantly talking with each other and every time, every week, you know, we will have clients that come in and they take their retirement pile of stuff and they set it on our table. Fortunately, in the Cadillac office, there's a 12 foot long table and I can't tell you how many times we would just take all of these papers and just spread them all out to start organizing, start making a plan Plan. You know, one of the best parts of our job is we get to take a pile of stuff and turn it into a plan of strategy. All we do is strategize. You know, with our clients, we have strategy meetings. Hey, here's where we got things going on right now. Well, let's compare that to markets and let's compare that to economies and risk and your life that changes and you stay updated, but you're always looking forward and you're always strategizing how to best position everything that you've worked so hard for. So if you're sitting there and you don't feel very good about your strategy or if you just have a pile of stuff that you want to deal with or figure out, please feel free to give us a call. No obligation. You'll never have pressure to, uh, to move forward at all, but you do hopefully learn every time that you meet with us or interact with us. Yeah, I mean, oftentimes in the Gaylord office, the, the, these clients will bring in their pile of stuff and they'll say, well, we haven't even looked at this since we joined some 10, 15 years ago, whenever they were with their previous advisor. And that's not a good thing. This, this, when we create this portfolio or this strategy for you, this is something that we here at Centennial Wealth, we're gonna be referencing pretty much every time we sit down and chat with you. We're gonna go through this to make sure that this strategy is still meeting your goals and your object objectives for retirement. It's, it's an awesome organizational tool to to actually dive into that pile of stuff that you have and make sure that you understand what's going on so that you're prepared for anything that comes along the way in retirement. So hopefully you found this information valuable. Um, please, if you have, reach out, give us a call, or you can find us online as well. Um, we're here to help. We'd love to schedule that free, no obligation consultation with you, and just sit down and chat, get to know each other, and see if we can help you plan to retire well. And don't forget, come back next week, same time, same station, with a lot of great more information for you.